Figueroa in the Klein Library and today I'm going to talk to you about using images and media for your school projects, presentations, movies, basically anytime you find an image or media on the internet and you'd like to use it for a school, um, what are the guidelines around using that? So the first place for you to go is your library resources page in your Haiku portal and you'll notice here on the left hand side we have a tab called images and media um, in Creative Commons. So the Creative Commons is um, really a, a place where you can find images, media, audio, video that is free, available, and legal for you to use for your school projects um, or for whatever you need to use the images for. So you want to make sure that you're following the guidelines for using images. So you can see here there are a lot of resources for you um, to find images that are legal for your class. The first one I'm going to show you is Photos for Class. And this is really easy to use. You can just type in the, the subject for whatever type of image you're looking for. Like if I was looking for an image of books, I would hit type in books, hit search, and I would find all of um, the images that are free, available, and legal for me to use. And when I found one I liked, I could hit download. Um, or I could take a screenshot or whatever I wanted to use. But what's great is if you hit download, you can see that um, here it tells you, um, gives you the information about the image, the attribution, where you found it, that type of thing. So you can also do a Google search um, for images. So if you are on Google, this is your Google landing page, you could go up here to images. And I would recommend doing an advanced search. So type in the type of image you need if I was looking for books. And then I would go over here to um, settings and hit advanced search. And the important thing when you're doing an advanced search here is usage rights. So you want to filter your search by images that are free to use, share, or modify. And even commercially would mean even if you were um, doing this not for school. So you may want to crop an image or change it. So you want to make sure that you're finding images that you're allowed to change. And then you can search them there. Um, there are other resources they work in similar ways here on this page. So any of these resources would be great for you to use to find images. Once you find an image that you want to use, it's really important that you cite that image properly. So you're always citing your sources for images, videos, um, and music in your school project. So you can use Noodle Tools to do that. And to get to Noodle Tools, you just go through your email to the Noodle Tools icon in your Google Apps. It should automatically sign you in. Once you're signed in, you could click on your project, your sources, and um, create a new citation. And here's where you would find the location um, for your image. So where did you find the image? Was it on a library database? Was it on a website? Do you have the image in front of you? Is it something you heard live? If you found it on a website, you could click website and then you would find you would go in here and find um, more information about that. So is it an audio clip? Is it a map or chart? Is it a photo or illustration? Um, what is that image? And you can click on that. And then you would put, um, fill out the appropriate information for um, where you found it, what type of image it is, and all the other information to cite it properly. It's really important when you do a Google search that you're not citing Google as the source of your images, that you're fully clicking on the image and going to the page where the image is, where it actually lives, um, so you know where that image is really coming from. And you can see this image is part of the, the Wikipedia Commons, which is a resource on that page too. And you'll see down here the source of the image. So if you have any questions about finding images or how to cite them, you can always stop by one of your libraries or email a librarian. But we also have this really great feature on our library resources page. Um, where you can chat with a librarian. So you can fill out this information here and send us a chat, or you can text a librarian and ask us a question about any of your image needs. Have a great day.